Hello, my name is Courtney Hines and I teach technology uh, remote this year at KMS. This is my 15th year teaching, but my first year teaching a project-based math and science class remote. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is my Google site that I use for KMS. I teach uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade this year. I started out the year at sixth grade. Uh, my sixth grade students have done a lot first quarter and second quarter so far. I taught the orange team first quarter and now I'm teaching the blue team. Um, so by the end of the first half of the year, I'll have all the sixth grade students. Uh, we talk about um, a lot of digital things, so it's really nice for them to be able to have a class to take their math and science, English, social studies concepts, and apply them in a different way. One way we do that is the students design portfolios. So students are really, um, using technology a lot so they're used to navigating google classroom we help them navigate google drive they are now going to be creating um, instead of just consuming all of the technology so they're in charge of creating a website and their technology portfolio kind of showcases their work um, so each student went through um, and did some online activities and offline activities um, we cover math and science we just do it in a new way in tech class so students learn how to use basic tools like rulers um, and measurement fractions um, they'll do some off screen things that were remote so we try to get them to look for um, things around their home perhaps we did a measurement scavenger hunt we also designed a dream room. So we had them first measure their own room and then we took that um, and had the kids calculate perimeter and area and then they used CAD to design themselves uh, a digital space. Students in sixth grade are also coding with me. So we're using Scratch. They're making uh, greeting cards, they're making interactive games, they're making interactive quizzes, all through coding. Um, so that was really exciting, they were pretty, excited for that. Another thing that we do is CAD, so computer-aided drawing. If we were in school, we would, we would use things like Autodesk Inventor. Um, so digitally and remotely, we have to use Chromebooks, so we are a little limited in terms of CAD, but we the kids really enjoyed Floor Planner for two-dimensional learning. They designed out their dream room space, and then we took that and applied it um, into the 3D world and we started talking about 3D printing and the students used Tinkercad. So they designed um, some custom pieces that could be uh, 3D printed when we we're at home or when we we're in school again. Um, and then hopefully students also kind of took on their own, actually I'll just show you a portfolio, it's probably easier this way. We have the kids learn um, the engineering design process. Basically, how do you do something? How do you design it from concept, like I have a problem, to the solution? Um, so one of the things we had students do is teach us how to do something. And this student taught us how to make slime. Uh, so they had to break down and make a bill of materials. They had to explain the measurements of everything and the procedures. So as a sixth grade student uh, working independently, I thought this was very well done. Um, we also had the students, um, again, just think about their time management, right? So we're trying to make sure that kids are allotting time um, for school, obviously, but kind of how can school positively impact you outside of it? Do you make time for reading? Do you have enough time for your sleep schedule? Um, so hopefully students use technology um, in a way to, you know, best manage their time. Even though we're remote, we try to uh, help students in all aspects of their school. So again, I'm uh, Courtney Hines. So hopefully um, I'm creating a, an online class where students are excited to come. Um, we've had a lot of community support. So I just wanted to thank um, the students and families that have really opened up some STEM exciting activities for our guys, uh, like Science Studios knew that we were talking about measurement. So they invited us over, gave us a digital tour, and that was really awesome for students to see how they can actually apply these STEM skills that they're learning in middle school, and these could translate into hopefully exciting careers um, locally. So we're also really uh, well supported in that um, 
a lot of students are interested in STEM, so we also have a STEAM club that meets on Fridays. Um, we're really excited. We got a lot of donations coming in for students to actually do hands-on activities. One of them was, we'll take your broken things. Um, broken mice are actually something that people don't often meet and just throw out. So if you have any broken mice, I will take them. Uh, the students like to take them apart in a Google Meet, and we talk about all the different sensors, capacitors, all the different electronical components that go into something that they've used probably every day since they've been remote. Um, so that was my plug for that. Again, I'm really excited to be a part of the Lansing Bear community, and I'm really looking forward to a great year. Thanks so much.